Did you start your professional life as a computer science graduate of UCLA? I did. I did. I'm a programmer. Yeah. I wrote code when I was in college and after yeah. college. Um, they're very similar professions, How oddly that? enough. In, for software, you have to think of something. Think of all the apps that you use. Somebody has to say, hmm, I think that it should be easier for people to get a, a car. Okay. And then you have to come up with what the audience... <laughs> you come up with Uber. <laughs> yeah, I wish I would come up with Uber. <laughs> but but you have, it's the same, um, the same way that you make a film. It's an idea, and then you have to figure out if there's an audience for it, and then you have to get a rather large group of people together yeah. to build a software or to build yeah. a film. And you have to make sure that everyone's marching in the same direction. I'll tell you an interesting story about that, and I've said this on the air before. Uh, there's a guy named Ken Lara who's had a lot of successful investments in terms of BuzzFeed and HuffPost. Mm -hmm. and, and he's been a very strong entrepreneur and venture capitalist. Mm -hmm. And he said to me that among all the ideas that, that he sees, the ones that separate themselves out are the ones that have the technology and the science behind them. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people can say, this is a good idea, we ought to have this. But they don't have the best science and technology behind it. I, I think that's true. And they'll be longer lasting if yeah, you have exactly. the, the right people right, behind right. it.